Hey everybody and welcome back to Space Nerd Confessions. I'm Cynthia and I want to start off with my video with an apology. There has been a huge delay between my videos. Um, there has been a lot going on in my life, a lot of good things, and I cannot wait to share it with you guys since I missed you so much. Uh, I have a lot of criteria that I want to cover in my channel, um, but I kind of want to gauge what you guys want to hear from me. Um, I'm going to give you caught up what's going on in my life and hopefully I get some good criteria in your commenting um, below and I'll answer any questions that you guys have. So first off, you may notice a change of scenery. You may see uh, the brown, which I'm not a huge fan of, um, but that'll be changing soon. But I moved into my first home purchase that I use with my VA loan with. And I'm debating whether or not I want to make a video on using the VA loan and just a first home purchase. Obviously I'm not an expert, but just going through it recently, um, maybe just kind of having a easy how-to step-by-step guide for those that you know, maybe not have purchased their home or use their VA loan, or maybe it's something that they're looking into and kind of want a beginner's guide. So if this is something you may be interested in, uh, let me know and I will put that on my list of criteria for videos. And another reason why I've been super busy is, uh, I mentioned it in my first couple videos, but I don't know if I've mentioned it recently, but I'm currently in space training to become a space officer and um, finally getting close to my graduation in a couple weeks. So um, these last month of training has been pretty tight schedule. Um, so it's been a little bit stressful to balance everything. Uh, but with that and moving into a new place, it's been a little bit hectic, but the light is at the end of the tunnel and I'm very excited for that. I've had a lot of people ask me about the space training um, and what that means and what it looks like and what kind of criteria is in that space training um, for the 13th Sierra, which is a space officer. And then it also correlates on the enlisted side uh, for a space enlisted. And um, I'll do a video on that as well in the near future, near, near future um, where I'm gonna talk about, you know, just kind of the space disciplines that we cover in our missions. So like ele electronic warfare, orbital warfare, and space battle management. Um, the career field is very fluid at this time, obviously with the transition into the Air Force, into the Space Force. So um, the concept may kind of stay the same, but it may be a little bit different um, from what I've been through recently. Um, in the next couple years, it may change. So on the topic of Space Force, um, in regards to recruiting, because I know a lot of people are asking how to get in the Space Force, uh, on the US, United States Space Force official Facebook page, um, they recently uh, did a recruiting ad on there and pretty much uh, we've been told that they're going to be recruiting anywhere from 300 to 600 personnel a year. So that is very, very low number um, in comparison to the Air Force, which on average they do 40,000 recruits a year. So it's gonna be an extremely competitive um, branch of the military to get into. It has also been discussed that um, a small percentage of the 300 to 600 recruits will be from the Air Force Academy in ROTC, um, at this time, OTS is an undetermined um, recruiting factor for the Space Force. So the majority of the recruiting for the Space Force is going to be accomplished through headhunting. So they're going to be looking for the best and the brightest out there. Um, and it's still not determined, at least for the officer recruitment, whether or not they require STEM degrees. Um, so a lot of this information, it's it's pretty fluid um, just because the Space Force is very new and there's not a lot of information in regards to Space Force recruiting, um, but this is just a little bit of information um, that I've gathered from um, higher up uh, Space Force leadership briefings. And for some other exciting news about the Space Force, um, there has been talk about working on the retention issue, especially with the huge blow up with private companies such as SpaceX, Virgin Galactic, um, and etc. cetera um, for space companies. And Space Force already sees that as a potential uh, issue to lose their personnel 
um, to higher paying jobs. So in order to deal with this issue, they want to increase opportunities um, and do seamless transitions. So what this means is uh, they want to allow their members to potentially do uh, internships with these companies um, for you know a stint of a year to three years at a time, or even offer opportunities where Space Force members can get out of the service for um, a few years and work with these companies and come back into the Space Force, um, which is super, super exciting. Not only is it exciting um, for the Space Force member because you kind of have that flexibility of you know, working in the service for a few years or working for a company, you know, if you want to live in a certain area or if you want to work for a certain company or do a specific mission, but it also benefits um, the Space Force because by working um, with these companies, you can bring all these concepts or ideas or technologies and you can bring it to the Space Force and it benefits both sides. And I mean, what kind of opportunity is that? That's awesome. But most importantly, I am officially in the Space Force. Yeah, I'm like super excited. Oh my gosh. Uh, it's been uh, a long time coming, but not really because who knew that the Space Force was actually gonna happen? I mean, I had a good idea, but. Um, so as of September 3rd, 2020, I transferred into the Space Force. I am no longer in the Air Force. If you check out my Instagram page and my Facebook page with the link below, I have a picture of moi in my Space Force uniform. So go and check that out. So I know I didn't specifically go over any topics today. I just wanted to kind of brush you up on what I've learned about the Space Force in the last few weeks and show my face since I haven't seen you guys in a little bit and I definitely miss you. I do have a long list of um, videos I can cover of like different topics, but it's a little overwhelming. So I kind of wanted to gauge my audience, which is you guys, to see exactly what uh, you guys wanted to hear, um, whether it's more scholarships or you want to hear, you know, about different Air Force programs, you name it, just drop it in the comments below um, and help me restart uh, my process of getting my channel back on track. And I really look forward to working with you guys. I sincerely miss you guys and I'm here to help. Um, and I, uh, I can't thank you enough for all the support that you've showed thus far.